Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see and learn about SAML based single sign on with Azure AD. Go on to the YouTube search for Azure Cloud Chef or through this video subscribe to this channel. If you're not signed in, sign into your Google account. If you are signed in, hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you will be notified as soon as i upload a new video well as we know saml stands for security access markup language it is an open standard that allows the identity providers to pass authorization credential to service providers with all that uh, technical definition it in the layman terms it means that we can use one set of credentials to log on into many different websites. It is much simpler to manage one login per user than is to manage separate logins for each user to access to email, the CRM applications, in-house applications, third-party applications, and Active Directory. So moving forward, it is a diagram which explains about how the single sign-on sequence in the cloud service works and <clears throat> it uses an http redirect binding to pass an authentication request to the azure ad azure ad will then use an http post binding to post a response element to the cloud service so what is authentication request Authentication request is to request a user authentication. Cloud services send an authentication element to Azure AD. A SAML authentication could be, you could see into the, the network trace if you would analyze the request coming to Azure AD. And the issued element is an authenticator request must exactly match one of the service principal name in the cloud service in the Azure AD. So what exactly happens is that uh, user tries to access the application. User would try to access the application. Application finds the identity provider to authenticate the user. It may be Azure AD. And then the application generates a SAML to authentication request and redirects the user browsers to Azure AD SAML single sign on URL. If the user is not signed in, Azure AD authenticates the user and generates a SAML token from here. And Azure AD posts the SAML response to the application via user's browser. Application verifies the SAML response with the ID that may have been provided at step 3 or at step 4 if the user had not signed in and then the application completes sign in it can be the application uh, in-house application or it may be a third party application or it may be the custom application developed by you but you have to add it your Azure ED tenant using the portal so I hope this was informative to all of you I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and mention in your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you. Have a great day.